Hello friends, whatever you want to achieve in life, definitely listen to this speech. Point number one, focus on commitment, not motivation. What plan you are working on to achieve your goal is more important for you than paying attention to the good and bad things of people. Some people may say you are right and some people may say you are wrong. You have to ignore what they all say and work on your plan. You will not get any benefit by worrying about important matters. You will be able to reach your destination only by working properly on your ideas and treatments. Point number two, get knowledge not see results. If you focus on enthusiasm, discovery, improvement, experimentation, and goals, you will work like fuel and if you focus on results, you will be counted on. To run an engine, fuel is needed more than the weather. The weather can change due to storm, but without it the engine cannot go even a step forward. Similarly, you can walk in a storm, but you cannot reach your destination if you deviate from your plan. 3. Stop feeling superior. You think that you are very good, are you really so? No one else can tell this correctly, not you. The day you stop saying and understanding yourself better is the day you will realize that you still have a lot to learn. It is wrong to do any work without thinking and without knowledge, even if you already know about it, it is possible that some things have changed and you are not aware of them. Point number four, Don, T, waste your time. Don't run away from your responsibility, do what has to be done, start now. If you don't start thinking, I can't even do this, someone else will do it before you. It is better to start your work instead of avoiding your work and wasting time. If you succeed, you will win, and if you fail, you will definitely learn something new. Point number five, Om Shanti Om is a famous dialogue of Shah Rukh Khan in the movie. It is said that if you love something with all your heart, the entire universe tries to bring it to you. Now next to the statement here, its reality and practicality have been questioned. And my answer is yes. This is true to a great extent, let us now know how. When we want or want something passionately, we always or some part of our mind keeps thinking about it. For example, suppose a boy or girl wants to get a particular post and for that he has to pass the related examination. Now this child will naturally discuss this topic with other people, think about it, and remain engaged. Overall, his behavior and activities will let other people know about his desire. This will do two things. With continuous efforts, there will be positive changes in the personality and mind of that boy slash girl and a mindset will be formed which will take him, her towards his, her desire, which means it will be inspiring and helpful in studying for the exam. Since the people around him and his family members also know about this subject, they will also help him in this matter or make positive efforts to do so. Overall, a positive environment will be created which we can call the universe which will try to match us with our desires. And in the end I want to say that. Exams see our representation but God sees our intention. Exams look at our representation but God looks at our intention. So, be good in your thoughts, we should be good in our thoughts also.